YouTube, Fish Fam, what's going on? It's Drama D here, giving you an update. I received my replacement tank yesterday. I was able to spend a couple hours last night replumbing the tank. Here we are today. I took the contents out of this 44 gallon barrel that I had the whole tank in. And the last time it was set up, it was set up for 24 hours and it started leaking. So I took all that, put it in here. It's been in here for three weeks. Got the tank, got it replumbed, got it wet. So I just wanted to share with you guys, the tank is now wet. Um, the plumbing is done. After filling it with water, the only issue I had was the emergency bulkhead was leaking. And that was my fault because I didn't tighten it. It was just on there loosely. I was able to finger tighten it and the leak stopped. Dried everything up. Tank appears to be holding water. So I was able to dial in the emergency drain. Can you hear that? Exactly. Dead silent. So the tank's up and running. Um, basically all the rock was sitting in this bucket for three weeks with bacteria a heater a return pump so today i'm going to clean up the tank run some tests on the ammonia nitrites and nitrates the ph i'm going to do a salinity check because i did not top off this bucket while it sat in here things i still need to do i need to turn on the ato i need to turn on the skimmer Turn on the heater. I need to change the time on the Kessel controller because of the time change. It is one hour behind. I have it running a preset tuna blue setting. Um, another thing that I did was I added a Marine Pure brick. It's a one inch by eight inch by eight inch brick. I, last time I had the system running for 24 hours, I noticed the skimmer was about an inch lower than I would like it to be, and my gate is maxed out to the lowest setting. So the Marine Pure brick ended up working out, setting the skimmer on it. My only issues with that is we all know how brittle they can be, so I need to be real careful that that thing doesn't break up. Maybe I'll build a skimmer stand and put that brick standing up or off to the side so that the skimmer is not degrading the material on it. The Nero 5 is running at 14%, approximately 1,221 gallons per hour, according to my AI app. I reduced the lock lines to nothing and just put the nozzle on there. That may be coming off. I may choose to run it just straight pipe as I don't care for the reduced flow that the lock line creates. As you can see, there's good water movement, surface movement on the top. Uh, on the right side, I can increase that uh, surface ripple on the left by simply increasing the Nero 5 pump or raising it higher. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, let you know what's going on, try to make this video about seven times, and uh, fail, 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 fail. So keep uh, on the lookout, I will be putting out some, uh, maybe some testing videos of the cycle, how it's going. My plan is once the tank is cycled to add my clownfish that are in my 150 gallon to this tank. But before I do that, I think I need to figure out a top for the tank. So I have looked into the company that has built the tops for uh, reef builders. Uh, the cost for one of those is about $100 for this size tank. Uh, an expense that is probably unnecessary, but I feel the $100 would be well spent for the quality of top that you're getting. But in the meantime, I might just go get a screen kit as I have some BRS quarter inch netting. Build a little top for this. I do need to find me some uh, rimless lid clips as mine are that I have are 
just a hair too small. I believe this is quarter inch glass or 10 mil thick. So uh, I need to make a top before I put the fish in there. I need to test, check salinity, turn the heater on, skimmer, ATO, fix the time. I'm going to leave the tank pulled back off the wall till tonight just to make sure that all the plumbing is okay, not leaking. And we will go from there. So I just wanted to share with you guys an update of the tank. Let you know what's going on. The tank is wet. Appears to be holding water. So, uh, yeah. Just want to say thanks to everybody for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, it's all stick together. So, hope everybody has a happy Friday. A great weekend. And uh, look forward to checking out your videos in the future and thanks for checking out mine you guys have a good night and uh, we'll talk to you later there it is folks kind of hard to actually see the escape with all the shimmer Day one and a half. Thanks, guys.